Good morning, students. After one week, we meet again. We are discussing on the rise of Hitler and Nazism in Germany. Last week, we have discussed about Hitler coming to power. Today, we are going to discuss what Hitler has done for the developmental activities of China. We are not going deep into Hitler's policies because we don't have time. That will be studied in higher education. Just touch on the surface of Hitler's activities. Okay? Can you see? So he appointed an economist to recover the economy of Germany. After the Great Depression, slowly the world economy was coming back and Hitler had come to power in 1934. And you see, he appointed him. And this man, Hatma Sachet, this Sachet, what he did? He proposed a state-funded development. Means, government will give money or government will invest and development will take place. So that is the one. Public sector companies or public sector activities. That is what Hitler has done. Can you see? Proposed the Sajid has proposed a state funded development. So government has to, because people are not having money, people are not having that much money to invest. So government has naturally some money that they got from their taxes or they can take a loan from other countries. And super highways and Volkswagen cars making started. You know, highways. In India, we have got now super highways we are making in six lane roads. So, movement of the goods from one place to another is so fast. So many people get employment when the construction is going on. So, money transactions will be going on. That's what I'm doing. Then, a car making company, Volkswagen car, you know, it's, it is a, a German company. They have got unit now in India also, they are producing cars. So at that time we have Volkswagen. Like in India, we had a Maruti car in the beginning. Maruti H20. That's the first Maruti company car. At that time when the Maruti company car had started in 1980, it was 50-50. Means the investment for the production of the Maruti car was 50% by the government of India and 50% by the Suzuki company of Japan. Now it is 99% of the share of the company is with the Suzuki company. Government of India has sold all the shares. That's the present situation. At that time, when we started in 1980, so government of India had invested 50%. Like that, that and this whole investment for making the car of Volkswagen was done by government of Germany. So naturally the growth was fast. People were ready to sacrifice their time, money, everything for the development of the country. So much they had suffered. So the growth took place so fast. That's what has happened. You can see this is the first subject. And this is a car we have brought out at that time. Modern, you cannot think of modern car, modern cars are not like this. Things are different. Don't think Volkswagen car has modern medicine, it's not like that. You know, you have seen the pictures of modern Volkswagen car. Now, Hitler is foreign policy. How did Hitler interact with other countries? And Hitler aim is to rule the world. Then we come to the question. You need to discuss about that. Okay. So he pulled out the League of Nations in 1933. You know, 
League of Nations was an organization that came into existence after the First World War. Why it was formed to prevent any more war? And it was proposed by the American president Woodrow Wilson. But America itself was not a member of a League of Nations because American Senate refused the proposal of American president. So the president has proposed the idea, but it had he, the America could not become a member of it. Other European countries became the members of it. The main superpowers we know. England, France, Italy, Japan, all those countries were members of the League of Nations. Russia, following communist ideology, was not permitted to take membership. So, other countries were members of it. Germany was given membership, but Germany withdrew from it. In 1933, other countries also began to slowly, slowly withdraw, and League of Nations became an organization which has no power, nothing to do with it. A useless organization by the end of 1939. We can come to know. Then, reunified the Rhineland. Rhineland is a river. Rhineland is a river is there in Germany. That area was given to England and France. Told England and France, be out. It will be part of a Germany. And England and France did not resist much because they had taken so much of resources from Germany, so they left it. They gave back to Germany. Willingly they gave. So there was no fight really for the capture of a Rhineland. But so he demanded, it was given back. So that has happened there. Then integrated Austria with Germany. You know, Austria is a small country near to Germany, you will see in the next page map is there, I will show you the map. It is a small country that it has, it has made it part of Germany because he was born in Austria. So he wanted that uh, Austria should be part of Germany, nothing else. So he declared a policy named uh, one people, one empire, and one leader. One people, one empire, and one leader. So Hitler is a leader and his German Empire and the German people Irish that will come to next chapter, next unit. So then he told it then part of it. So made Germany and Austria one nation. Then occupied Sudan land. Sudan land is a, an area near, near to Germany, it is in Czechoslovakia. Now we just check is the Republic. Yugoslavia is there, Slovakia is there. So many republics are there presented in the world. At that time, it was one country named the Czechoslovakia. One country. At present, they are divided. Okay? So, and that country occupied some area of that. Naturally, Czechoslovakia cried out, but nobody did. All countries, England and France, kept quiet. Let them, Hitler, do it. That we come to know next, we will call it that policy name, appeasement policy. They don't want me, Hitler to be angry with them. They left Hitler, oh, let him do it. So that was a big one, appeasement policy. Oh, don't want to be angry with Hitler. So he is okay, he has okay, but like small idea, no. So the word, people in Czechoslovakia were not happy with it. And they could not fight against Hitler. So they kept it. So that is happened in Czechoslovakia. Then, because there was a secretly an agreement agreed, Britain secretly agreed that because Britain was feeling the treaty that was signed in 1919 against Germany was a bit harsh. Now they began to think, okay, so they let it, let it get the water. That was taken, granted by Hitler. Now we see the changes. This is a League of Nations. This green country is all the members of a League of Nations. This one, India also. All the areas were members of the League of Nations. Russia was not permitted. England, uh, America did not become a part of it. Okay? This Russia, not 
So, Germany in the beginning was not a problem, Germany becomes a later member, then Germany withdraws from it. So, that's a leak and these are the leak operations. It is in a Switzerland. Switzerland is uh, in Europe, it is in Switzerland, uh, the headquarters of League of Nations, place is called Geneva. See the building of it. This is a building of uh, uh, League of Nations, Geneva. It is located in Geneva in Switzerland. That's the country. Near to Germany. It is there it was, uh, this is a building of it. League of Nations. It is an international organization to bring together all the now you see, Hitler, this is Germany, and Hitler, this is Yugoslavia. Ah, this is Czech Republic. Czech Republic. So this area here, there was an area, that area was occupied by Germany, and this to that and that. So this area was occupied, and all countries kept quiet. So that is what has happened. Here, this is Germany, this is France, okay. this is Italy, this is uh, Switzerland, this is Italy, this is Austria, this Austria was made part of uh, Germany, it has become, this Austria has become part of uh, Germany, here, so this is what part of uh, Germany, Europe at that time, this is Spain and all those things, Romania, present today, there are so many countries here. So all the markets. Okay, so that is it. Now Hitler wanted to weapon, make weapons in this country. Hitler was not permitted to make arms. No army was permitted. But now Hitler unilaterally takes a decision and implements the decision. But the economist who he has appointed such a he told them should not go for Amen or a weaponization of Germany, but Hitler did not listen. Because if we go for spending money for weapons, that money cannot be utilized for the economic development. That has happened for India in the beginning also. So same thing though, if you go for purchasing weapons, spending a lot of money for weapons, hey, that money cannot be utilized for the development of the people. Now the, the world, most of the countries are spending a lot of money for uh, weapons to kill each other. But what to do? That is the situation. Enmity is created among the nations. If the countries are not fighting each other, then money which is utilized for the uh, possessive weapons can be utilized for the development of the people. But as a country we cannot keep quiet because other countries making weapons and they are making weapons. If we are not having weapons, they will eat us. So it is a responsibility of the government country to purchase weapons and be ready to fight. And one day is raising weapons, other one also have to raise. That's the situation. So that arms race should come down. Then only the world will be good for the people to live. Most of the money is spent for purchasing weapons, to kill others, to fight. So the countries are living in a happy life. This could happen, but what to do? The same thing just started this in 1930. What did he do? On March 16, 1930, he announced re-arm of Germany in violation of the Treaty of Versailles. Germany was not permitted to have an army. Declared construction of an air force. He told her he started construction of an air force. Air force is not meant for a movement of the materials or movement of the people from one place to another. Air force means it is for fighting. If it was a movement of the people, airport for the construction of airport is more for movement of the people, movement of the materials. But this was meant for fighting, air force construction, naturally. Then, unveiling the plan to reinstitute a German army of more than half a million people. Half a million. We have seen in the video, in the previous lessons, the German army moving and all those things, all those things were done by Hitler within this, after this. So he did not take anybody's permission because he disapproved the treaty that was signed. He did not mind the treaty that was signed in Versailles. And those countries who were signed, they also left it. Because they had taken as much as possible from Germany. So that has happened. 
so now weapon price started when hitler began to weaponize then other countries started to why this produced how much weapons that is a, one of the reasons the tension that occurred in the world yes okay now there was a new gentleman he has purchased weapons began to uh, increase his weapons and started to attack small small countries then europe in spain the enemy country of uh, or a powerful country in europe was england and france both of them kept it quiet they did not attack so he just got more boost he began to ponder on this so that was that so the policy of uh, british is on as appeasement the policy of appeasement and it is done from 1937 to 1940 whatever hitler was doing they were committing in 1939 is just off till that day so it is on as the prime minister of that and that is on as neville chamberlain was the prime minister of britain he resigned during the war started second world war started he told i cannot do it so he had come to munich munich is a place in germany he had come to munich sign an agreement with hitler and told hitler not to occupy any areas not to attack any neighboring countries that is what he has done okay munich agreement but what did he do hitler Hitler attacked the Czechoslovakia and conquered completely. And in 1939, September 1st, Hitler attacked Poland. Has seen the previous match map? Has seen the all Poland? Here it is Poland is here. This is Germany. This is Poland. See, so Hitler attacked the Poland on September first, nineteen thirty-nine. Then started the Second World War. England, Britain, and France gave an ultimatum to Hitler to withdraw from Poland within twenty-four hours. because they never expected hitler would attack poland because attacking poland means he is slowly slowly trying to conquer all the kingdoms near to or countries near to germany england and france did not agree with it so that has me england and france to declare war on germany so the beginning of the second world war war was declared on uh, germany and we know the process of that i will explain so that is a september end. let them prepare fight the war now third september 1939 the second world war started because in 1939 first september hitler attacked the So the second world war started. Now we will see. Okay, so next unit we will see how the war has gone and what was the idea of Hitler to capture the world, the world view of Hitler. What he wanted really to establish. All those things we will discuss in the next unit. So be ready. Read well, study well, enjoy the days. Stay at home, play carrom, spears, 